Good evening, humans. Trans Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Tiger Force Stuart Outback Selkirk figure from Hasbro. I originally was not planning on picking up this figure, however, I do need it for a future project, which will factor into a future video. But uh, the question is, in picking up this video, did I second guess whether I need a second version of this or uh, did that not change? So uh, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this is definitely a cool looking figure and is certainly clearly Outback and uh, couldn't be anyone else. And obviously there was a uh, Tiger Force version of Outback in the original line. And uh, yeah, they've really translated that well. Then they've, they've done a real good job of updating all those classic designs, uh, which is pretty awesome. And uh, you know, beyond that, you know, we, we definitely some reuse here. We've seen these uh, pretty much from the waist down and before, you know, the, the pants and the boots are not unfamiliar. So definitely, I mean, obviously if it's not broke, don't break it. And uh, yeah, good that they did that. And then, you know, obviously just a t-shirt for the top. The uh, particular shade of orange is very, very nice. And uh, the tamper graph of the tiger there on the chest looks very, very nice. Uh, very clear design. And then come to the head sculpt and uh, head sculpt is excellent. Like just looks aged and rugged in just the right way. Uh, they did a nice wash here over the hair to really bring out the details. Just very definitive and you know, definitely, definitely like that. A little bit of overpaint here on the uh, headband, but obviously it's not an issue for me. Like I said, I'm using this for a different project. So for me, that doesn't matter. However, it does for you. Definitely something to look out for, though you're not gonna see that in the package if this is looking straightforward, as you can see. So uh, worth taking note of, uh, but beyond that, uh, pardon me, we have seen these gloves before, uh, pardon the focus here. Uh, so these have been on various uh, classified series figures before. Uh, we do have some nice arm hair detail. So uh, yeah, definitely a lot going into this. And then, you know, web gear that I don't think that, um, I don't think this has been on another figure, but again, I don't have a lot of the Joes. Most of, most of the figures I have for classified are Cobra. So uh, yeah, that is what it is. So take that with a grain of salt, but uh, you know, some, definitely some cool details around here. And uh, yeah, just a cool looking figure overall. We definitely get a unique loadout of accessories here. Uh, first off, the classified series being pretty good with that, but also, uh, you know, Outback being a survivalist, uh, just in his very character, lends itself to some unique accessories. So uh, first off, we do get a pretty much survival backpack, as you can see, some really nice details, uh, beautiful sculpt. Uh, unfortunately, not any paint to bring out any of these like buckles or anything like that, which I think would have been nice. I mean, just, you know, not much, but <laughs> just like kind of a splash of black or something like that on these, again, the, the buckles or something to just give it a little more depth uh, and easy enough to hit yourself if you are looking for that. But uh, other, other than that, like that, that looks fantastic. Like th those fabric details are nuts. So uh, there's that, then pardon me. We get the sidearm, uh, which really nice detail here. Obviously you can see that there's the laser sight, which is kind of strapped on. We have the couple of wraps here on the handle, which definitely makes it kind of unique and uh, just like kind of a really cool gun, first of all, in this series. Just it definitely stands out as being unique. So that's pretty cool. Then we get a flashlight. Uh, very well done. Unfortunately, no paint details at all, so it just kind of is what it is. But uh, yeah, just overall kind of looks nice. Then we get a spade, a uh, camping spade at that. So some really nice details here as well. Again, all in the sculpt, uh, not any paint anywhere. It that definitely could have used some, I think, on the handle or something like that. I think the standard release actually has more paint on the accessories. But uh, other than, but you know, that, that aside, it's still definitely a cool looking piece. Then we get a standard what kind of knife here. Again, no paint, definitely would have helped it a little bit. And again, I think the new, ver the like kind of standard line version has it, but uh, you got the nice serrated edges here on the side, but you know, sculpt is definitely there. Finally, we have a submachine gun. Uh, so you can see that the strap is painted, so we definitely get that and uh, nice details all around in general. Uh, and you can also see there's a port there on the bottom and that is for the very final thing, which is this uh, magazine. And that just kind of clips into here. 
And there you go. That is accessories. Articulation here is fantastic. And uh, you know, I've, I've loved the articulation for classified line. And uh, you know, th that's part of why I need it for the project I need it for. And you know, as you can see, we can hold a freestanding kick, no problem. This is this took literally a few seconds to get into, so cannot complain there. Just absolutely love it. And uh, so breaking down all the specifics, uh, we have a dumbbell joint going from the neck piece into the head, and then we have a separate neck piece, and I think it's a ball joint at the bottom. So we do get some decent down, even with that beard, and some uh, really decent up as well. And then we get some tilt, uh, mainly all in the head. The neck joint doesn't move a terrible amount, um, but does definitely gives us enough. So there's that. And we come down to the shoulders, and we do have some butterfly joints, very generous ones at that, which is very nice. I definitely like that about this particular buck. So that is welcome. Then we come into the shoulders and uh, we're coming just past our T, kind of barely. We have bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, completely in half. Then we have hinge and swivel, or hinge and swivel at the wrist. Uh, left hand has the vertical and then we have a horizontal on the right and uh that's I, kind of another reason i was happy that this, this is the buck that got used um so then we get to the ab crunch so we have a standard ab crunch at the diaphragm and then a ball joint at the waist and that allows us to get pretty nice crunch absolutely fantastic arch back and uh you know you're getting a little bit of side to side but you're also getting your rotation there from that ball joint here at the hips we do have our drop down hips that we've been seeing since the beginning of the line that allows us to hit. Uh, I was going to say perfect splits, but it's pretty much there. There's still kind of more of a V shape or an A shape rather. And then we have some thigh swivel, some, wow, the, the drop downs definitely come down pretty far. <laughs> then we get some uh, double jointed knees. We get boot swivel and then perfect point. Some very, very nice forward and that trademark Hasbro rocker. So that's articulation. Getting the size comparisons, here he is with some other classified series. With some other Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Tiger Force Outback from Hasbro is that this is a very solid figure. And, uh, you know, honestly, if you have any sort of nostalgia for this character, this version of this character, or uh, you're just collecting classified series, absolutely pick this up. Uh, as I had mentioned before, you know, I, I personally had not planned to pick this up before, but, you know, I, I'm using it for a project. And that project is uh, a creator on Instagram called Hottest Fuzz Customs does custom kits and one of them is for a classic Doom guy. So I am going to be creating that classic Doom guy figure using this as the base and uh, I will be doing a video chronicling the entire process. So if you're interested in that, definitely, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button uh, and definitely hit that bell so you get notified when I put new videos up because that will be coming up in the next couple of months, uh, Once I, certainly once I get the paint. And uh, yeah, we're gonna kind of put that out there. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited to do that. So uh, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, all the other stuff that I had already just mentioned. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more as you can see here. So uh, yeah, if any of that interests you, I hope to see you back and uh, let's talk some more toys. So finally, I just want to say that I hope that you are well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.